Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed look at the very unique 2013 Chrysler 300C John Varvados Limited Edition. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth view of this Limited Edition 300C. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clipping over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a big thanks and special shout out to North Point Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for allowing me to come out and film the 2013 Chrysler 300C John Barbados Limited Edition. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. As you can see, the vehicle does come standing with remote start. Now the 300C does come standard with an integrated smart key access system. All you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket and locate the little black buttons on the driver and passenger side door handle. To lock, all you have to do is press it once. One beep indicates locking. Then after waiting a second, grab the handle. There's a touch sensitive pad behind it. And it automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is known as Phantom Black Tricoat Pearl with unique platinum gray exterior trim that replaces the chrome of the standard 300C and a unique pewter gray leather interior with black accenting. It's Napa leather seats with unique John Varvatos stitching contrasted in diesel gray. And along with that smart key system, there's also remote push button ignition. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the dash mounted button to start. Beautiful sound. Now there's a whole lot of unique nuances to this interior that sets the John Varvatos apart from the standard 300C. One being is the instrumentation cluster. Accented by an off-white, has unique font as well as back pattern, and it also has the brand's unique logos. Kind of adding to that custom tailor feel, and instead of being wrapped in chrome rings, it's wrapped in high gloss um, black finish that kind of matches the exterior paint. The trim is also found across the wheel. This is the standard um, 300C steering wheel that you would find, but it's wrapped in soft, supple leather, as well as unique platinum gray trim ring that matches the exterior trim. There's also a little bit of subtle chrome around some of the multifunction controls here and some of the other um, dash switches, but for the most part, it's dark, rich colors, the platinum gray trim. It all kind of adds a little bit more to the darkness and the richness of the interior that I think they're going for. The steering is very smooth, standard, electric assist, speed proportional, rack and pinion. As far as the gearbox, right now there's two different options depending on which engine you get. For V8 models, you still have the standard 5-speed electronically controlled automatic gearbox with manual shiftability down below, as well as up top with the aluminum accented paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel. Now for V6 models, you can also opt for a new ZF 8-speed automatic gearbox, and the 8-speed is starting to move on into the V8 models as well, like Ram and Jeep. Once you put the vehicle in reverse, an integrated backup camera appears with guidance lines. And the shift knobs also accented in the unique leather with diesel gray color accent stitching, the platinum gray trim down below, as well as unique wood trim coming across the center console. There's also a special numbers plaque ahead of the gear shift, but the limited edition, there's only gonna be 2,000 of these made. This particular one is number 1,193. 
So, we're going to flip on the automatic headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Both the driver and passenger side windows are fully automatic. Now we're going to check out the exterior, shall we? The interior of the vehicle will also chime, letting you know it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. For 2013, the Chrysler 300 lineup receives few changes aside from trim reconfigurations and better option packages. What makes the biggest statement though are a few new special edition 300s, the first being the Glacier Edition and the 300C John Varvatos Limited and Luxury Editions. Chrysler's imported from Detroit marketing campaign places the new 300C amidst an urban backdrop, giving it a cool, modern, and sophisticated look. John Varvatos is a successful menswear designer and native of Detroit. His original collection launched back in 2000 and now represents an entire lifestyle lineup that includes everything from footwear, watches, and bags, to eyewear, apparel for the younger crowd, and even collaborations with Converse. He's received numerous awards over the years such as GQ's Designer of the Year in 2007 amongst many others. You can purchase pieces of his collection through freestanding Varvatos boutiques across the country, online, and even high-end department stores. His unique urban style seemed like the perfect fit for the image of the 300 signature design, Detroit style, and classy theme. The collaboration between Chrysler and Varvatos truly created two unique bespoke models known as the Varvatos Limited and Luxury Edition 300C. The Limited Edition is exactly how it sounds, limited to just 2,000 being produced, and is the more thoroughly reworked model by Varvatos. The Luxury Edition will slot in as a trim level between the standard 300C Luxury and SRT8 and feature a couple extras such as a mesh grille, unique interior wood and colors. Only the Luxury Edition can be had with all-wheel drive. And if you haven't noticed already, Barbados 300s receive a number of unique exterior options, first off being the phantom black pearl paint that has a fantastic shimmer in the sun. And replacing the chrome of the standard 300C is platinum gray trim that surrounds the windows, mirror caps, grill, and the vehicle's rear badges. They feature a satin metallic finish that contrasts the paint nicely while keeping the dark urban look. The tail lamps are also tinted a little bit darker, and the front clip is actually inspired from the SRT8, enhancing the aggressive look with large air intakes and a unique black chrome grille. The wheels are also unique and finish up the exterior. 20-inch gray finished thin spoke aluminum alloys wrapped in Firestone Firehawk GT tires measuring 245-45, also with four-wheel disc brakes, stability, and lock and traction control. Yeah, we're going to pop the hood. For 2013, all 300s come standard with the Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 and 8-speed automatic transmission, even the C models. The V8 is still optional on all cars except for the base model. The 5.7 liter Hemi V8 features a pushrod 16-valve design with an iron block, aluminum heads, and port fuel injection. A simple yet traditional design that pumps out 363 horsepower at 5200 RPM, and 394 pound-feet of torque at 4,200 RPM. This propels the 4,300 pound luxury sedan to 60 miles an hour in approximately 5.3 seconds, with a quarter mile time of 13.9 seconds at 103 miles per hour. Top speed is electronically limited to 119 miles per hour. The engine also features active fuel management that shuts off four cylinders at cruising speed to create a V4 configuration, thus decreasing the fuel use. As far as fuel economy, with a 19-gallon tank on regular and leaded, they expect to see somewhere around 16 city, 25 highway. The 300C lineup already features a well-built interior with plenty of padding across the touch points, dash, and center console, not to mention subtle touches of wood and polished aluminum. The Varvatos 300C takes custom tailored to a new level of blending a variety of different leather surfaces and colors to make a truly unique interior. Rather than going all black, the interior blends three color variants, black, pewter, and gray. The doors, dash, and center console are wrapped in soft, black Poltrona Fro leather. All of the stitching that you see on the panels is contrast in diesel gray as mentioned earlier. The platinum gray trim also carries throughout the interior, replacing many of the chrome pieces. The seats definitely make the biggest statement as far as the interior goes. They're metallic, pewter, Napa leather covered buckets. If you look closely, you can see the shimmer in the light, and it also gives a nice warm feeling to the interior. The leather is perforated for heating and cooling, it's quite soft and comfortable, at least you would expect out of a luxury sedan. Across the seat edges, you'll also notice the Varvatos signature stitching that can be seen that combines gray and black thread. Up top, his logo is embossed in the leather. Polished aluminum Chrysler door entry guards. A full power tilt telescoping steering wheel with heat, 
You also have a standard driver knee airbag for increased safety, and the dash completely wrapped out of leather. High gloss wood veneers with the platinum gray accenting, and in the luxury trim, exposed wood grain. Subtle touches of chrome also accent the dash while keeping the overall interior the still dark urban theme. The gauges are also styled in accordance with some of the signature Varvedos watches, all nicely finished off with a full panoramic sunroof. Yeah, we're going to see if she sounds. And there is a rev limiter in park and neutral around 4,000 RPM. I'm going to shut her up. I saw closing panels. Now this particular 300 seat comes with the optional 10 speaker Beats audio system, but now 552 watts of musical power with rear mounted subwoofer. All fed through an 8.4 inch Garmin Uconnect mobile media telemetrics navigation interface with touchscreen capability as well as standard Sirius satellite radio. Side curtain airbags. 987 Simon. We play everything. Up in the top stack, you have your interior illumination, as well as reading lamps, padded sunglass container, garage home link, controls for your fully automatic sunshade, as well as sunroof. Beautiful addition with the panoramic roof. Everything's one touch automatic. Little wind deflector pops up. And then you can just bring the whole thing back if you desire. Now I've actually gone through this navigation system on multiple occasions, so I'll go ahead and cut on over to a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. Basically, it's everything on here is the exact same as the other one, except you have a little bit different styling and stuff for the 300 models. Also, one other thing that's different with this one, in the control system, there's actually a rear sunshade that you can activate via that little button there. As well as the sport mode. It illuminates up in the dash. It kind of increases the vehicle's handling a little bit, um, suspension tautness, and just makes it a little bit more responsive. Standard dual zone electronic automatic climate control with an in dash CD player, SD card input, a little bit of storage down below with a 12 volt power outlet, some more storage here, heated and cooled cup holders, as well as a full padded leather center console with a removable storage tray as well as your media inputs, your auxiliary, USB, and another 12 volt power outlet. Now some of the other unique tidbits that sets the John Varvatos apart, the unique wood grain trim with the platinum gray inserts, kind of similar to what Jeep did with the Grand Cherokee Summit. All of the door handles, like I mentioned earlier, are also in platinum gray, and the dash is entirely wrapped out of leather. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also see the color contrast stitching here.
in that diesel gray. Around the infotainment system, you also have that high gloss black metallic veneer, as well as a unique analog clock branded with the John Varvatos logo. And then the wood grain continuing down the center console. It's also accented in the color accent stitching. And while this particular vehicle isn't equipped with it, you can also get adaptive cruise on these Chrysler 300s. It has um, a pre-collision detection system, rear cross path detection, blind spot monitoring, all those different electronic safety features. Hands-free telephone controls, radio controls, and driver information controls are all on the steering wheel, as well as your um, voice recognition. But for a more detailed look at all the interior electronics and all these new age Chrysler sedans, including the new Dodge Charger, feel free to check out my in-depth review on the 2012 Charger RT Max. I'll go ahead and post the description box below or you can click this annotation right here. Alrighty. I want to take a quick glimpse at the back seat. And I'll show you the unique leather trim in the back seat as well. Other than that, nothing else has changed in the back as far as the regular 300C. The leather padded door panels. The back seats are heated as well. And you can kind of see that little metallic sheen of the um, Napa leather. It's a very unique color contrast. You also have a 12 volt power outlet. Your power sunshade controls and your heated seats off to um, each side of that. Not to mention illuminated cup holders with a little storage compartment. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2013 Chrysler 300C John Varvatus Limited Edition. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.